sticking with this kind of the, the younger generation before we move on to kind of the other segments we talked about, is there a value, we talked about the attitudinal uh, shifts of mm -hmm. saving, is there some value if you are uh, straight out of college, still in college, of just trying to save a, a, a few dollars in an in a, in a IRA or something that, that looks towards the future? Yeah, if, if you can, of course. The, because it, it, you want to create kind of a snowball effect. You start off small, then maybe you do realize, oh, I can save more and more and more. And then, but it, going back to her point, a lot of people need to have a, just a savings account <laughs> before a retirement account. That's step I mean, one. That's step one, yeah. You, I'm thinking of myself in college and no. <laughs> so, so most people just need to have something like that. I mean, because we all know how much books cost, right? So, but yeah, just, just 20 bucks a week putting it into a savings account. There's online savings accounts now that you can do that where it's seamless, set it and forget it. And before you know it, yeah, you have a nice little savings account. And then when you have, and then maybe you get an internship, part-time job, whatever, then maybe you save more and more. And then you get in that habit, right? And then you don't miss that 25 bucks. And maybe you don't miss the 50 bucks, then 100 bucks a month. So this is encouraging. This is the financial guy who I think you just uh, said that in college you weren't the financial guy, so to speak. Like maybe you, I, you, you, I didn't have finances to be a financial guy in college. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, so, but yeah, I mean, it's it's doable. It's a learnable it, skill. Exactly. Yeah. It's a want to, you know. But you, like anything, we all have unlimited wants, but we all have limited resources, right? So it's all about picking and choosing. Right, and we're also teaching kids at the high school level to save as well. We uh, partner with the Summer Youth Employment Program or STL Youth Jobs out of the mayor's office and we provide uh, all those kids a free checking and savings account and actually have them take a savings pledge and provide them financial education through the summer. And so far over 1,200 kids have saved over $70,000 of their own money um, in savings accounts. You know, the checking accounts, you know, they may be there, they may not be, but we're encouraging them to save a portion of their money because we'll tell them, hey, you never know what's going to happen after your job is over, you know, what kind of expenses you're going to incur as the school year goes, goes along. And our partner in that program uh, is a credit union and they've set up a specific account for kids uh, that's uh, non-custodial if they're under 18. So that gives them a heads up, you know, or a head start on learning good banking habits while they're still in high school. Thank you.